Her body will arrive here at the George H.W. Bush Library tomorrow afternoon. People will line up all along the street here, not to mourn, but to celebrate her life. We are going to be standing guard on either side of the street to make sure that any of those who are watching do not interfere with the motorcade as it processes down to George Bush. James McKenna wasn't even alive when Mrs. Bush was first lady 25 years ago. Personally, it's a tremendous honor to be a part of uh, a part of this event. Uh, you know, the first lady was an incredible historical figure. He'll be one of about 400 cadets standing along George Bush Drive paying their respects. While we didn't really experience that firsthand, we got to see like the effects of what she did. Here in Bush country, her contributions to literacy, devotion to family and country are never forgotten, but this weekend they are highlighted. So it's really cool to see the spark like that is drawn in the community because of her. Many students have fond memories of their encounters with her on campus and outside the presidential library pond. And she saw Barbara Bush like walking her dog. I mean, she was sitting like on a like a golf cart and like walking a dog and she was like out there by the pond. She may not have graduated from the university, but this community considers her family. There are so many stories that people have of seeing her all around campus, including our photojournalist Lee Carpio. He's got a story of seeing her here taking pictures of blue bonnets in the same area that will now be her resting place. Reporting from College Station, Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. We will have live coverage of Barbara Bush's funeral services tomorrow on GMSA, which begins at 6 a.m. We'll also be live streaming the services on KSAT.com.